Hello friends, today we'll learn about the life cycle of the silk moth. The silkworm is the caterpillar or larva of the Bombyx mori moth. Silk is made by the moth, so it is important that silkworms are fed fresh mulberry leaves during their last three weeks of growth. Mmm, the total life cycle of a silk moth ranges from six to eight weeks. The warmer the weather, the quicker the moth will finish its life cycle. However, other factors such as humidity and exposure to sunlight are also important. Let's see the different stages of the life cycle one by one. Stage 1. Egg It is the first stage of the life cycle of the silkworm. The egg is laid by a female moth, which is mostly the size of tiny dots. A female moth lays more than 300 eggs at a time. In the springtime, the eggs hatch due to the humidity and warmth in the air. Stage 2. Silkworm A hairy silkworm emerges after the eggs crack. In this stage of silkworms, the growth starts. They feed on fresh mulberry leaves and consume a large amount of these leaves for around 30 days before going on to the next stage. Stage 3. Cocoon In this stage, silkworms spin a protective layer of cocoon around itself. It is the size of a tiny cotton ball and is made of a single thread of silk. Stage 4. Pupa. The pupa stage is a motionless stage. The silk cocoon serves as protection for the pupa. Metamorphic changes of the pupa result in an emerging moth. Stage 5. Moth. It is the final stage where pupa changes into an adult moth. The female moth lays eggs after mating and thus the life cycle of silkworms begins again. Can you show the chart to your friends? Yes! Very nice! First stage is egg. Second is silkworm. Third stage is cocoon. Fourth is pupa. And the final stage is silk moth. Clothes made from silk are liked by everyone because of its texture. But do you know how silkworm produces silk? The process of rearing of silkworms to produce silk is known as sericulture. You have learned that the caterpillar or silkworm spins the cocoon inside which further develops into silk moth. The cocoons are boiled and kept under the sun. The silk fibers separate out from the cocoon using the machines. This process is known as reeling the silk. Silk fibers are then spun into silk threads, which are woven into silk by the weavers. Silk has been made for around 5,000 years in China. Now, there are a number of silk-producing countries in the world including China, India, Uzbekistan, Brazil, Japan, and Korea. Now you know a lot about the life cycle of a silk moth. Bye-bye!